In tonight's Consumer Alert, Pope Francis is due to touch down on U.S. soil a week from tomorrow for the first time since becoming Pope. And the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops is preparing with a new app that aims to provide details to users about the Pope's visit and other information about the Catholic faith. Jack Thurston reports. My initial impression is this thing's great. Restaurant owner and Catholic Earl Handy is checking out the Catholic Church mobile app from the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. I think it's bringing the Catholic Church into the new millennium, into that new generation. Launched in time for Pope Francis's visit to the U.S., the app promises to stream video, both live and on demand, of the Pope's stops in Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, and New York, along with lots of other content, both text and video, in English and Spanish. I probably won't be able to attend the papal visits, but now that I know about this, if I have a chance to click on and See it? Absolutely. I want to see it. The Catholic Church in the United States has long grappled with declining attendance at Mass and is still healing from clergy sex abuse cases that rattled people's trust. So Bishop Christopher Coyne hopes the Pope's arrival will be an opportunity for the Church to reintroduce itself, to re-energize the faith for more than 75 million American Catholics. He figures the new app can only help with that. The Catholic Church has always used the present means of communication to further the mission of the church right from the very beginning. The way I look at the digital media is we have to be there because more and more people are checking out of television, radio, and checking into the digital culture. The app is free to download, provides daily scripture readings, and also has a feature that helps users find a parish near them. The app is available for Android and Apple devices. Coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, if you've been shopping at a popular clothing store, you may want to check your bank account. A Forever 21 customer called our whistleblower hotline after noticing they were overcharged. Valley News Team's Nicole Johnson shows you what happened and how you can get your money back. But first, the amount of sleep you could be losing because of that nighttime cup of coffee.